I'm Morgan Davis. I'm here with Overload. We are at the TuneCore Music Mamie Mixer at South By 2019, and I'm here with Drummer Boy. Hey, yeah, boy, what's good? How's your South By been? Man, it's been amazing, man. South By Southwest is always amazing. This is my fifth annual My Fashion Weekend in conjunction with South By Southwest, and uh, it's 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 booked. It's crazy. It's packed, <laughs> man. A lot of people showing up. A lot of people out to support songwriters, artists, producers, all over the town. Great diversity. Yeah, for sure. And as someone who's been here, you said five times, how does it feel this year versus other years? Does it feel any different at all? This is actually year number seven. Oh, okay. Um, and I came a couple years to really peep things out. I was performing Gangsta Boo. Shout out to Lola mm -hmm. Mitchell, Gangsta Boo. She brought me to my first South by Southwest. I opened up with Rick Ross, uh, with her at the Fader stage with Andy Cohen. Coming out the gate South by Southwest just blew my mind. Right. So from that, uh, having a lot of more uh, different opportunities to come back and do some partnerships and things of that nature. We started working with the Champagne Company, Marino BHLV, as well as doing uh, fashion um, um, partnerships and music partnerships with different artists uh, here in, the, in Austin. So we started doing my annual South by Southwest My Fashion Weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, here we are at my fifth annual, and it, it's amazing, man. We got some of the the top artists, producers, and um, executives on our panel. We're doing showcases and performances later, followed by a big beat battle with uh, honorable C notes. All later. right, that sounds awesome. Oh yeah. And I feel like South by is like a perfect event for you in particular because you're such an entrepreneur. You've like done everything in music. So, like as someone who's just been very successful from the start with mixing music and business, do you feel like South by is kind of unique on that? Yeah, I mean, South by Southwest, you see so many different Fortune 500 top corporations here branding and doing marketing and giving away product and uh, doing free mixer events and whatnot, really to bring the people together, to keep the importance around the branding, but to show the brand support to the communities and, this, and to the artists and songwriters and uh, producers all across the world. So I feel like it's an amazing opportunity to network, politic, meet some of your peers, as well as get their connections, get yeah. their resources, meet their managers, uh, meet their supporting team members. Um, and I think you can take yourself to the next level, as well as involving yourself with some of the peers and people that you look up to. Right, foster those connections. So. Absolutely. Yeah, and so like another thing that's interesting to me too, that I've been speaking to a lot of Atlanta artists this year in particular, it, and it seems like Atlanta like has always been a hotbed of music culture, but it seems like in the past few years in particular, people have been paying way more attention to what's going on there and that it's been setting the sound for the country. Why do you think that is? Um, I think that in Atlanta, it's a music mecca. Yeah. Uh, it's the most traveled through city in the south as far as airport uh, and highways. Uh -huh. And a lot of people are coming through just to stop through or to network, um, you know, we just won the soccer championship, um, you know, a lot of things with the sports, um, with the NFL and the NBA, you got Cartoon Network, as well as the film yeah. uh, world, you know, so many price cuts. Yeah. Um, Black Panther, one of the biggest films, yeah. especially in the urban community. Um, so a lot of things, I think Atlanta's finally becoming more than Black Hollywood, it's becoming uh, a second option to Hollywood. Right. Um, new scenery, uh, new skylines, uh, as well as uh, um, new tax cuts to, to giving a lot of the filmmakers big breaks um, and, a, and a completely different um, scenery. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of producers in the city, a lot of artists as well, and uh, it's just so much opportunity. For me, it's about clientele mm -hmm. and having a lot of clientele to sell my product to, which is music. Right. And there's so many customers in Atlanta. So, I mean, Atlanta has just been very great to a producer such as myself. And, uh, you know, I'm doing things in New York, doing things in LA, as well as internationally. Yeah. But Atlanta's just always been the mecca home of the South. Yeah, and your family's always been a, like pretty big in the community in Atlanta, too. Like, you've got a long history, both in music and philanthropy there. Oh, yeah. And my, my family's from Memphis. So I get all of my, my, my family history from Memphis. I came up producing Yo Gotti. Uh, we brought out Yo Young Dolph. We yeah. did the money bag. Yo, 
um, so many different artists that we branded and brought out out of the city of Memphis. So a lot of people think I'm from Atlanta, but I'm born and bred out of Memphis, Tennessee, and that has been my connection again with the Yo Gotti's, the Young yeah. Dolphs, the Money Bag Yo's, Gangsta Boos, Three Six Mafias, Player Flies. That's where I come from, and then I made an extended name for myself out of Atlanta. Right. And uh, now we're international. So we always bring education back to Memphis, Atlanta. And my grandfather has a middle school named after him, General James Golson Middle School out of D.C. He was a Fairmont Heights principal for 30 years. So it, it, it's a family thing. It's something I can't really run from right. or, or die. Gotta embrace it. But, yeah, I definitely have embraced it, and I've always given back knowledge, education, as well as uh, time mm -hmm. to a lot of artists and up-and-coming producers uh, that I feel are worthy. Yeah. Well, you've been at the center of a lot of different movements in hip-hop, but what do you feel about the current scene that's hopping up, especially since you're in Atlanta, which has become, in a way, the trendsetter for the rest of the hip-hop sound? Right. Um, it's always a blessing to be just a big brother to a lot of that uh, community, um, to, to, for Pastor Troy to reach out to me and say, hey, I want to work with you, and then I moved to Atlanta because of Pastor Troy. From Pastor Troy, I went on to work with Boys in the Hood. From Boys in the Hood, Young Jeezy. Yeah. From Young Jeezy to Drake, Money to Blow, to Rocco, I'ma do me, to Two Chains, I'm riding around, I'm getting it, right. to Migos, Look at My Dab, to uh, I Put On For Your City, On, On For Your City, Jeezy, Kanye, and so many records. It's just been a pleasure and an honor to have such support that I have out of the city of Memphis, and that's why we give back. When I was coming up, I had guys like Jazzy Faye, R.I.P., my older brother, Insane Wayne. Um, I had my older brother who paved the way and started so many relationships for me. Yeah. So um, I, I was just honored and blessed to be able to have such support, but as well as understand the fundamentals, understanding the music theory, understanding the importance of a producer with music theory, yeah. not just making beats, not just doing rap. But if Beyonce calls, if Ariana Grande calls, if Bruno Mars calls, being able to change key, yeah. being able to create song structure, composing, arranging, creating theory from scratch, right. as well as editing or making changes, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, a lot of these big artists, they might tell you, well, you're in the key of A, but I want to go to the key of C sharp. Yeah. Are you able to do that, transfer those notes, as well as execute and get the job done. That's what I'm here for. Right. Well, what are some projects that you're really excited about that you're working on now? Right now, we just released our new album, Drum Squad Compilation, new album, The Collective Project, which is on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, all music platforms, Drum Squad Records, uh, and Drummer Boy Presents The Collective Project. Definitely go get that. Also go download my rap album, which I did in memory of my brother, mm -hmm. my brother's keeper. Um, by myself, Drummer Boy, D R U M M A B O Y. Follow me on Instagram at Drummer Boy Fresh. Check out the website, drummerboy.com, and go get the albums, man. My Brother's Keeper and The Collective Project. All right. I appreciate it. Thank all you for right. doing this. Definitely. Thank yeah, you. have a good South by. Already. All the new up and coming songwriters, artists, producers, definitely sign up to tunecore.com and upload your latest album, your latest music. Music made me, drummer boy. Hey, yeah. <laughs>